So what I want to do, I want to get the name of, name of this file inside of the tables that I have here. So I can work only with information in one column. I don't want to keep two columns. I don't want to expand this column here, bring those names uh, as hard coded. There are, there are ways to bring them uh, dynamically, but I prefer to use a table combined uh, function to combine all those tables. So what I'm gonna do, I like to get the name of the file inside of every single table that I have in my column data. To do that, I'm gonna create a new step. And in that step, I'm gonna add an additional column. And I'm gonna show you why it's easier to work in this way with an additional column. So I'm gonna, at least for me, <laughs> I know there are several ways to do things, but in this case, I just find it easier. I prefer to do everything in one column, but in this specific case, when I'm gonna add the name of the file to the existing tables, it works better for me to create an additional column. So, uh, a lot of times we have preferences, but sometimes we need to see what is better for the process or for our own understanding. And for me, it has worked better this to add the column. So table add column to the existing uh, table. That is this coming from the custom one step. That reminds me I didn't rename my step, but we rename that later on. So that is my table. That is a table where I want to add the new column. And the new column will be called final. That will be the final column that we are going to expand and, uh, and extract all the information from all the tables. I'm going to press comma. And what do I want to do there? Well, I'm going to say each. I want to add a column inside of this table. So I'm going to say table add column again. And open parenthesis. What is the table? What is the table coming from? Well, the table will come from my column data. That's the one that has all the, uh, the tables. So the table will be in, inside of uh, square brackets because it's a column. It will come data, so comma. What is the name of the new column inside of those tables? Well, that will be file name. And I'm gonna give this as capitals or uppercase uh, because that specific table has a column that is called name, that has the name one, two, three, four, five, etc. So I want to be consistent with the columns that we are gonna keep separated from all the other columns that are different in every single file, okay? So I'm gonna say comma, and what do I want to do here? So uh, here, I'm gonna try to provide the each keyword, but it's gonna be, and I'm, I'm gonna show you, I just want to show you that it's gonna give us an error because we are talking about different environments. We're talking about different, let's say, dimensions. So this each works on each of a specific item on this table. But when I'm talking to transform a table that is nested, this each is out of that environment. This each needs to modify or introduce something in a table that is not, let's say, visible here, let's say, right? So if I say each and I say, I want here to bring name, to bring just that uh, file name, and I say, and I go to the end, close parenthesis, and I press enter, I go to the end where that final column is, and then I can see that I was able to add a column inside of these tables, but it gives me an error. And that is the reason why, because I am providing a keyword that doesn't apply to the environment where these tables are. So what I need to do, I need to find a way, a key that is gonna allow me to go inside of these tables and it's gonna kind of open the door for me and it's gonna allow me to then deposit that new column, insert that new column at that table. So what do I do there? So each is a, a short name or a key na name for a function. So that means that I can provide something that is gonna play the role as function. And what is a function for Power Query? So it's the parentheses, the equal and the created that. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, control shift plus, so you can see. So this is a function at the end of the day. Inside of the parentheses, I provide a parameter. The parameter can be ABC or can be a, a, a word. It, it doesn't matter, it's a parameter. And I want that parameter to allow me to go inside of the nested table Perfect. In this case, I'm just introducing a new column. In this case, I needed the parameter. I needed the, the, the function to allow me to go inside of that table and open, open the door for me, let's say, and allow me to introduce that uh, column, right? So now I have that information inside of every single table. So I'm, I want to show you the, uh, so here is one. So here we have file name two, 
the next one at the end, find name, <coughs> and so on. So all of them will have that information depending on the name of the file. But I just want to bring the name without extension. Well, that's going to be very easy because once I'm here, I'm going to say each after the each, I'm going to say, let me move this. And actually, let me bring the each here and I'm going to move this in here. So what I want to do here is instead of name, I'm going to say text before the limiter. I want anything that comes before the dot. And it's going to ask me for the text. The text is going to be provided by my column name, comma, and the delimiter is going to be the dot. It's the one that is separating the name of the file and, and the extension. So that's going to be the delimiter. Close parenthesis for the text before the limited. Close parenthesis for the add column inside of that uh, table. And close parenthesis to add column to this table. <laughs> so, and I. And I'm going to say, click at the check mark if you have issues trying to get there. And now I have the file name without extension, right? So uh, every single file will have that. Now, just the name of the file, okay? 